Any Abdul? A Muslim saying the Trinity is non sensual. -sensual. Well, why well, you don't join me and let us talk about the Trinity? Do you want to do that? Join me. Yes, Abdul. Yeah, let's talk about the Trinity. All right. What is, <clears throat> what is the Trinity? So the Trinity is a pagan concept mm -hmm. that there's three gods, but they're one god at the same time somehow. Who are they? Those three pagan gods. They are one. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know this. No, no. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me who they are. Details. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So why your stupid book, Quran, say that the Trinity in Christianity is Mary, and who is else? Oh, I can actually, I can answer that. So um, it's not talking about the Trinity. It's talking about people worshipping Mary, which are the Catholics. And there was a group called the um, Chalmidians, I believe. Uh -huh. They were a section that actually worshipped Mary as a god. That's what I was referring to. Okay, so did your Quran mention anywhere the true Trinity the Christian believe in, or this is only the thing? Uh, no, it actually does mention the Trinity. Muhammad Hijab actually pointed this out in his debate with David Wood, oh. but I don't remember the exact uh, yeah, okay. verse as, where it as talks long, about the Trinity. As long as you mention Muhammad Hijab, Muhammad Hijab, he said, not only one Jew believes that God has a son. Do you agree with him? Uh, Jews don't believe it has a son as far as I remember. No. Okay, so do you agree with Muhammad Hijab when he said that not a single Jew believed that God has a son? Um, well, I'm sure maybe there's like a few heretical Jews, but for the no, most part, no, yes, no, that's I'm correct. I'm asking you, I'm asking you about in your religion. In your religion, Muhammad Hijab was very sure. He said to David Wood, screaming at him, not a single Jew, not a single Jew believed that God has a son. Do you agree with Muhammad Hijab or not? Yeah, I agree with him. Yeah. All right. That's mean you and Muhammad Hijab are donkeys because the Quran says the Jews, they have, they believe that God have a son. Here we go. Where's that? Chapter 9, verse number 30. The Jews say Israel is the son of Allah, and the Christians say Messiah is the son of Allah. Uh -huh. There's a saying from the mouth. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, so now, so yeah, now, I'm sure there's some. So now, who is the stupid? You, Muhammad Hijab, or Allah? No, I mean, uh, for the most part, I think the Jews don't believe that God has a son, but there's some that do. No, 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 no. What do you mean for the major part? It says the Jews. Can you read? It says the Jews. He did not say one Jew, two Jews, one Jew. He says the Jews. You know, okay, that's fine. Yeah, Muhammad Hijab can be wrong about some things. That's no, okay. No, 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 I have no, no. You see, you just said that Muhammad Hijab answered David Wood. So now you are saying that Muhammad Hijab was lying about what the Bible teach because according to your Quran, the Jews agreed that God have a son. And that means Muhammad Hijab, he was a loser and fabricating and even he believed that the Quran is lying because he was so sure and so excited, not a single Jew, not a single Jew believed that God has a son. Now, let me ask you, who is Ezra? In fact, in Arabic, it says Uzair. The Jews, they never heard of a person like this. So, um, I think it's referring to Jesus. Oh, Uzair is Jesus now? No, I'm... Um... I've actually never um, read this verse before, but by with the context, so what did you read? Talking about what, Jesus. Did, what did you read in, uh, in you know, before, like the Mickey Mouse Quran? What do you mean you did not read this verse? You are the one who called me to speak about the Trinity, and this is the one talking about yeah. the Trinity. Speaking the Christian, they say that Jesus Christ is a son of Allah. So you you call me to speak about Trinity, and you are saying to me you never heard this before. 
Yeah, I, w- I want to debunk the Trinity. But how come you do not know such a thing? Okay. I want you to debunk, I want you to debunk the Trinity. According to the Quran, the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah or the Messiah is a second person in the Trinity with Allah. The the Quran says that the Christians worship Jesus as God. Yeah. No, no. I'm asking you. Is the Messiah according to the Quran? He is Allah or he is the second person in the Trinity? Second person of the Trinity. So why the stupid Quran says that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah? If the Messiah is Allah, who is the second person who is the third person? Because they're associ Christians are associating partners with this is Allah. Another question. They... Now, Abdul, focus with me. If the Messiah is Allah, who is the second person and who is the third person? If the Messiah is Allah, then uh, Jesus is part of the Trinity, and Allah is... This is not the question, Potato. Potato, focus with me. Don't be nervous. Breathe. If the Messiah is Allah, who is the second person in the Trinity, and who is the third person? The the Holy, Holy Spirits and... Uh-huh. Father? Huh? The Holy <laughs> Spirits... And the Father, right? Abdul, focus with me. If the Messiah is Allah, who is the second person and who is the third person? The Messiah and Allah now is one. If the Messiah is Allah, the, what is the Trinity then? I mean, who is the stupid here? Do the Christian believe that the Messiah is the Father? No, they don't. No, no, I, I never, I never said that they do. I never okay. said that they do. But your Quran saying that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. Yeah, but you, you pointed out that the Quran gets the Trinity wrong with regards to Mary, but I debunked you on that because I said that there were a group of Christians called the no, Chalmedians who worship Mary as God. Me. You did not debunk me just to show you how stupid what you said, because. If the Quran called those who believe in this Christians, then the Quran he called the wrong people Christians, because Christians don't believe in that. So you don't call you can you don't call them a Christians when they are not. Christians is those who believe in the Trinity, and the Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and there's not a single group believe that Mary is God. Yes, there was. There's the Chalmedians in Arabia in the. Uh, things no. They, 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 they elevate Mary, but nobody believed that Mary is part of the Trinity. The Trinity from the beginning of Christianity is God the Son, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit. No Mary, no one else. So when your stupid Quran mix up things, it's all over the place proving that he is a stupid, the one who ever says that. And look, here it says that of Allah want, just again to confirm that Islam Teach that the Christian believe in this. Does it say here? Surely this believe those who say this. Okay, who are they, the Christians? And then he says, Allah, he can destroy Messiah, the son of Maryam, and his mother. Why his mother there? Because this is a trinity in Islam. But the thing is, the Catholics do worship Mary, and that is as a big, Muslims, that is a big fact. Listen, if you want to lie, I will, I will spit at you and kick you out. Don't lie about. I'm not a Catholic, but don't lie about people. Either you are adult, mature, or you are just a dog. You are coming to bark. Can you show me one Catholic? He say Mary is God. Either you prove they what you say. Don't say Mary is God. So but shut they up. Pray to her, which no, the... no, I, I, no, I pray to Mary. To pray for me, which means I ask Mary to pray for me. We Christian, we ask all Christians, hey, brothers, sisters, pray for me. And you Muslim do the same. Isn't it you Muslim? You make Muhammad an intercessor? And Muhammad is dead? We mention him in, a, in our prayers. Do you ask him to intercede for you and Muhammad is dead? Yes, because he's a prophet. So how come you just said that if the Christian, they pray... Asking Mary to intercede for them, they are worshiping Mary. That means you are worshiping Muhammad.
תלך, תלך, תבטא איתו. בטטו, 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 he was so excited. Go ahead, Harry. You are a Muslim, Harry? Harry, are you a Muslim? Harry Buter? Hello. Hello, hello. Salam. Salam, salam. Why, why you are saying salam? What, what is that? Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Where do you get this from? Wa rahmatullah wa baqaratu. Baqaratahu? Rahmatullah wa baqaratahu? Allah. Barakatuhu. I don't know. I heard you saying baqaratahu, which means cow. But where do you heard this from? Like where, where is the word assalamu alaikum coming from? Is that something you must have stole from the Bible? Something you're grow, you're born with. You learned this. Really? What is the first thing the angel he said to Muhammad when he met him? Did he say to him? Um, did he say to him, "Salamu alaikum"? Obviously, you know better than uh, everyone. So why don't why don't you tell us? I, well, you are the Muslim. Enta Malak. I'm what? Enta Malak. Enta Malak? What is that? Is that Arabic supposedly? Don't pretend you don't know Arabic. I can pretend to know Arabic if you want. Assalamu alaikum. So when you spoke to me in Arabic, you pretend to know Arabic or you know Arabic? No, I know Arabic. You know Arabic? Speak to me in Arabic. Go ahead. <laughs> what? Ya kafir. Ya kafir? What kafir mean? It's you. Christian kafir. What what kafir mean? Non-believer. Non-believer? Does that yeah. mean he's a bad person? To us, yeah. To you. Uh-huh. Maybe not. Uh -huh. So if if uh, if we say Muhammad was a kafir, is that an insult? Of course. All right. Are you sure? Absolutely. All right. Well, let us read together and uh, see that you Muslims are a bunch of idiots because according to the Quran, the one who is a kafir is the Muslim. You want to bet? Let's see. Let us see. <laughs> this is your Quran. It says that the one who is a kafir is a Muslim. Do you see it? Read it, and you know Arabic, right? يَكْفُرُ بِالطَّاوُوتِ You said it's an insult. And for sure, yeah. And you are a kafir. It turned to me, it's you who's the kafir. Hey kafir, are you there? Kafir? Hello? What happened? Heart attack? Mr. Kafir? That doesn't make any sense. What? It says here that the Muslim is the one who do kufr. It's in the front of you. Is this uh, Sahih or? Uh, oh no, this is Daif. This is uh, Daif. Yeah, this is a Daif Hadith. It's probably wrong then. Yeah, well, this is the Quran, you idiot. Probably the translation is definitely. I'm not showing you translation. I'm showing you the translation is wrong. I agree, but I'm showing you in Arabic. I highlighted for you in Arabic. You claim that you know Arabic. Read it.
يكفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله the one who is a kafir in taghut and he believe in Allah are you with me Mr. Kafir so the Quran now is da'if who is the one that wrote this I don't know do you know then his name I have no idea the Muslim they have it in their website who go, go, uh, uh, Allah knows best, you know. Who knows? Didn't you, stu didn't you study Islamic studies? Yeah, I study Islamic study, but you see here, I did not study the Hindu books. This is the chapter of the Hindu, the chapter of the cow. I did not study uh, cows. I'm not a butcher, even though I have too many knives. I mean, what kind of God? The biggest chapter in his book is the chapter of the cow. Why is a Hindu God? Do you know, by the way, why they call it the Hindu cow? I mean, the cow. The cow chapter. Why? Because your God cannot resurrect anyone from death unless he beat him by beef. Is that true? No. Seriously. Are you sure? This is how your God, he beat the guy with me beef the penis of the cow and the guy come back to life read it and Allah he says and this how Allah he raised people from death by beef your God is a Hindu he did not even mention a spice or anything just beef is that possible beef alone is that a buffalo Are you there? Let's talk about Christianity. Really? You want to switch? What happened? What if I use beef against you now? You're still a kafir. It doesn't matter. Well, you are the kafir. I just showed you the Quran says you are a kafir. Okay, you know what? I will go with you. This guy, he said, I am a kafir. All right. You are not a kafir. But you believe in the most amazing book. What is the name of the book? Hello? Hello? What happened to this guy? Potato. Kusoma potato. Well, he is insulting now. He is saying the vagina oh. of your mother. He said he said the vagina of your mother. I must him. This is the best day. Vagina of your mother. <laughs> By the way, your prophet, when his mother she gave birth to him, according to him, there's a light came out from her vagina. And to be honest with you, since then, I charge my phone for free from the vagina of Muhammad Mother Light. I have solar in my phone. My calculator. Imagine Muhammad Mother, when she gave birth to Muhammad, this is how powerful her vagina. Muhammad, he said that when his mother, she gave birth to him, the light from her vagina reached all the way to the palaces of Damascus. I don't know why the people of Syria is so white. Should, they should have very, very strong tan. I mean, aren't you Syrian people burned by the vagina of the prophet, mother? And the funny, nobody in Mecca saw the light. But people in Syria, they saw it. The same as the moon. The moon is split, but nobody saw the moon. Even the, all the neighboring country, nobody saw it. There's a girl, her name is Fifi, she said, the reason they did not see it, because it was only for a second, a second, a second. Allah put it together again, a second, a second. That fast? That's it. Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul?
Do you see how stupid this garbage? They're going to stand for anything. They deny. You show them the hadith. I don't accept hadith. Oh, I am Abadi. Oh, I am Shia. Oh, I am Sunni. Oh, this is a weak hadith. Oh, this is a weak Quran. Maybe it doesn't mean that. Maybe. Okay, we show you the interpretation. I don't accept interpretation. It's made by a human. What a stupid garbage cult. Hypocrite people. Any Abdul would like to go to heaven? It's going to be written in your resume that you debated the Christian prince in the front of Allah. Trust me, that alone will give you a lot of extra versions. Big ass. And they will their ass will be red like yours after you debate me. Shapanzi. You know when when Muhammad says that the Muslim women her ass in heaven will be one mile, first time I read the hadith, I said, Maybe I did not understand. I mean, this is all the classic language, Arabic we don't use today. So I read it again and again and again. And then I open dictionary and then I flip pages. Like, what the heck? The guy is promising his followers that your wife ass is one mile. And my concern and your concern is global warming. I mean, now we know what's going on. There's women in heaven made by Allah, their ass is one mile. It's not the cows, it's not the volcanoes, it's not the cars. Do you know how much one mile ass can produce methanol? And do you know that methanol is flammable? Which means if this woman, she's fart and you are smoking, you are, you are done, you are barbecue. When we were kids in the school and the teacher he said that fart is a flammable one of the kids he did not believe it he's a teenager you know so he was you know wearing you know nylon pajama so he bent over and he put a lighter behind his butt and he farted and oh boy he catch in fire all over i'm serious don't try it one mile ass I mean, what about half mile? I mean, what's wrong with 72 inch 4K? Only one mile. If her, if her ass is one mile, her vagina is what? Half mile? If she's deep in her back, I can fill it up with water and I can swim. I can do fish in there. I can grow fish. I can use her vagina as a pond to grow fish. We can use her ass because according to the hadith, it's so smooth. You can use her ass for a challenge who can climb it hiking. Who can do that? No way. It's very smooth. It takes Allah 1,000 years to smooth the skin of a Muslim woman in heaven. You know, I was doing a seminar in the Philippines and the Muslim woman, she said, what you are saying is not true. I said, like, about what? She said, you said Muslim women in heaven have nothing. I said, yeah. Do they? She said, there's a hadith. Prophet Muhammad, he said, but Muslim women, she will be 70 times more pretty in heaven. I said, well, first of all, if you make you pretty in heaven more, it's just to be pretty for the man anyway. So still you are a sex toy. Secondly, now I have a board. You know, I always, when I do a seminar, I ask them to bring me a board, like white board, you can write in it. So I said, okay, I will go with you. So let us say there's a three women. One her name is Aisha, one her name is Fatima, and one her name is whatever, you know. Uh, Jamila. The first one is twice more pretty than the second one. And the second one is a twice more pretty than the third one. And then Allah, he made you all 70 times or 70 times more pretty. Nothing changed. You were ugly in earth and you are still ugly in heaven. Because beauty is relative to who? So the woman, she was twice, the first one, 
she was twice more pretty than the second one and she was three times more pretty from the third one still she is the same and the second one is still the second one and the third one is still the third one nothing changed people die laughing at her she thought she had something against me 70 time okay so number one she was twice more pretty than the second one now she is 140 times more pretty no sorry she is she is 70 times uh, yeah twice uh, 100 and she is three times more pretty than the third one 210 the last one the third one is 70 times more pretty that's it the second one is 140 pretty that's it nothing changed you were ugly ass in earth you're ugly ass in heaven I feel sorry for her by the way because people start laughing at her you know I don't, I don't mean to insult her or I mean to wipe the floor with her hijab but you should see how she's talking to me she said you lied this is not true Prophet Muhammad so imagine how many times they heard this story that she, you will be 70 times more pretty I mean I will make you 70, 70 times more tasty so they can eat you still you are a victim you cannot even leave your house. Nobody can see your pretty except one man. The Quran says that even you will stay in a tent. Why? Are you the camping? Bedouin man, a Bedouin man is you know speaking to the Bedouin. Restrained in their khiyam. Khiyam is a tent. Nobody can see them. So what's the point of this beauty anyway? Do we have any Abdul? And many Muslims think about it. What is stopping Christian Prince from converting to Islam so he can get this tent, man? How big this tent? According to Muhammad, the smallest tent in heaven, tent, is the distance between Yemen, the capital of Yemen, and the city of Damascus. Somebody tell me what the, what the distance, please, between the capital of Yemen and Damascus. What it is, 2,000 miles? How many? This is just a tent? Really? There's no yard? Five hours what? We are five hours by donkey, by camel, by flying horse, carpet what? Tell me the distance. Two thousand three hundred forty-four kilometer. Okay. So now you you and your wife sitting inside a, a, a tent, and the distance inside it, the space is two thousand three hundred forty-four km kilometer. How you can see them? And Muhammad, he says, they will be in the corners. You spend the whole time going just from the corner to the corner of the tent. You guys giving me different numbers. Why everybody give you different numbers? 700, 400. Anyway, you must be an Arab. We Arab have different numbers and everything. All right, maybe we have a Muslim. <clears throat> Muqtada sound like a Shia name yes brother I uh, actually spoke with you a year ago oh okay you are a Shia I, right uh, right now I'm from uh, Iraq so yeah basically that's the majority religion there so what are you now Hey brother, I just wanted to uh, like uh, to talk about uh, and just tell the Muslim brother that uh, the Lord Jesus is actually the creator of the world. Oh, you became a Christian? Yes, brother. But I like to think that it's a matter of a fact today. You know? Yeah. 
I believe uh, the Lord Jesus created both the Christian and the Muslim. Right? Well, God, He created all, all everything. The Bible says right. everything created by Him and for Him. Everything, not only human. Right. Yeah. And now I have to tell the Muslim brothers if they want to go to heaven, if they want to ex uh, escape hell, only Jesus Christ can get them out of there. Absolutely. And to find Jesus Christ is in the Holy Bible. Muqtada, did your family leave Islam yet or not yet? Only you. No, brother. They they don't uh, want to be known. Do you like They're me? not interested. Do you like me to talk to them? They're not with me. They don't live with me. No, I mean, you, you, you can like online if you want. I can even talk to them in private if you want. Hey, brother. They, it's, 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 it's not like you think, you know? All right. Because, uh, it's a different story. If you share with them these uh, verses, they're gonna, they may give me, maybe hate you. You know what I'm saying? Well, let them hate me. At least we deliver the truth to them. You know, hate me. The Bible speak about they will hate you, hate you in your, in my name. That is a blessing for us. No problem. See, that's the thing, right? I told them about the Lord, and they don't want to believe it. They're like, you know, we don't want to be Christian. We are not a uh, Christian. And he they told me, you're not a Christian, so why do you want to be a Christian? So, mm. they told me, you want to impress foreigners or, you know, Americans. I told them, no. I told them, um, it's actually in the afterlife, it's going to be Jesus Christ that can get you out of hell and get you into heaven. And they yeah. told me, who do you think you are that you know a secret of the universe? I was like, I don't know, man. You know, I'm just trying to help. Your 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 parents are Shia, right? Yes, pretty much. Well, tell them about the story if they believe in it. That Al Imam Al Baqir he created an elephant from mud and he fly with it. Hey, hey brother, it's 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 you know it's you know what I'm talking about. It's um, you you have to understand that uh, if you bring them this stuff, they might uh, like like. It's, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, uh, with religion, right, there's a lot of hard feeling. Yeah, I understand. There's a lot of, like, uh, contention. When, when a long time ago, also, you still not uh, want to listen to this stuff. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. But, uh, well, we are yeah, happy to have you. When you, when you right. call me, you said you called me a year ago. Uh, you left Islam when you called me last, uh, a year ago, or this is new? It's uh, it's complicated, brother. I'm personally, you know, uh, usually I'm not a person of faith. You know, I'm not a person that likes to talk about religion or likes to believe in religion. But I just wanted to share with the Muslim brothers. All right. That uh, if you want to escape hellfire, if you want to go to heaven, you have to accept Jesus Christ. Only Jesus can get you out of there. No other name. I mean to that. No other name. So, uh, just wanted to say that, brother. God bless you. Take care. Alright. Goodbye. Alright. Do we have any Muhammadan? There's a Muslim saying, Islam is the fastest to grow in religion. I don't know. Imi Hijab, he says, it is the fastest shrinking. And he asks Muslim for donation. And Ali Dawah, he says, brother, sisters, 100,000 people dying in Islam a year. In Islam and year. In America alone. <laughs> Donate for us, brother and sister, donate for us. And supposedly he will make he will make Muslims stay as Muslim. And then later he said that uh, the scientific miracle is debunked. <laughs> the scientific miracles is debunked, huh? No problem. Hello. Hello, hello. So, as usual, we've got a man daily talking about someone you've never met, never seen, and has never done anything wrong to you. Who is this? Is this some sort of psycho psychosis issues or who? Who? What you are talking about? What? 
all these um, um, rants about Prophet Muhammad and like, have you ever met that man? Have you ever seen him? That's a good question. Have Muhammad uh, ever met me? Has he ever done anything to you? Yeah, he has never met you, so he's got no time for you. So, so why do so you why, make it? So why he says? And, so why he says the Christians are the worst of the creatures between like animals? The Tanakh said the worst, and you have got no time to talk about us. The Tanakh. The Tanakh. So why Prophet Muhammad? Why no, are we, you so? No, we talk about everything, but this is my degree. I have degrees in the garbage of Muhammad. I do not have degrees. In the okay, garbage. Yeah, listen, listen, listen now. We listen, live in listen, 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 listen. We have listen, your degree. Listen, listen, you Abdul, degree. listen, Abdul, listen, Abdul. You've got no degree. Why are you a prophet? Until you see your degree, you got no degree. Uh huh. Listen. Why you? We don't even know you. You're just a voice. No, no one has ever seen you. Why you? You're just a voice. So you might what? even be an AI. Your, your God, to your God, brother. Allah did not even fart to Muhammad. Did Muhammad even speak to Allah? You do not know God, so just did don't your even talk God, about that. Did your God spoke to Muhammad even once? Yes or no? You don't even know God, so why are you Answer talking about me. God? You just said to me, you're a voice. Okay, I have a voice. Your God don't. How come your God, nobody heard his voice? <laughs> He's too powerful to speak to. Why your God he never he's have got, voice? No, he's got, he's got no. Angels. The God, he's the God, he spoke to Moses. The God, he spoke to Moses. Why As Allah? Whatever spoken to Jesus. Why As Allah? Whatever spoken to Jesus. Why Allah will not speak to Muhammad? Do you have an answer? As God ever spoken to Jesus? <laughs> well, why Jesus. God will speak to Jesus if God, if Jesus is God? Oh my God, goodness! Are we? Do you just oh follow God. God? Don't say, oh my God, say, oh my God. Listen, so, so why, so, so why, Jesus, your, so Jesus why kept saying, Allah, so Jesus kept saying, the Father who sent me, the Allah, Father who sent me, the Father, why Allah the Father never, who sent me. Why Allah, Allah never God. spoke, why Allah never spoke to Muhammad, be honest with me. Yeah, he, he's got an angel to do that. He doesn't have to. He has what? He's a powerful, powerful being. He can send angels. He can even sit on his so throne. So why Allah, he spoke, okay, Allah, he spoke to Musa in the Quran. Allah spoke to Isa. Yeah. Allah spoke to Ibrahim. To Isa. How come he don't to speak Isa. to Muhammad? Yes. Can you prove? Can you prove he spoke to Isa? Really? Yeah. All right. You got no proof. You are just guessing. Oh, okay. I, I I hate to guess. Okay, hold on. Let us see. So you see my screen? Hello? Yeah. I'm you checking see, your screen. You see my screen. So, so okay. basically, so um, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold so basically, on, hold on, here we go. You said that Allah did not speak to us. Here we go. Isn't it? This is a so. Quran. Hold on, Christian when Prince. Allah, so where are you coming from? You are showing Allah, me. You are showing Allah, me a Quran verse. You Allah, actually believe in the Quran. Allah, he you said, believe in the Quran. So why Allah, why are you using something you don't believe in? It's you who said to me that Allah he did not speak to Isa. You said to me, Allah where? has never spoken. I, there is no well, way where is me, is Allah. My friend, we don't believe. Be, we don't believe. So we don't, we don't an, believe. You are using an evidence to justify your we, claim. We an believe, evidence you don't, we don't, don't, don't believe in. And you we don't believe, believe in. We don't believe in Allah. And you said to me, show me where Allah spoke to Isa. Everybody heard you. So Allah in the Quran, I said, Allah in the Quran spoke to Musa, spoke to Abraham, spoke to Isa. You said, show me where it says that. I said to you in the Quran. So now, in why Quran. Allah, why Allah speaking to Isa, but he don't want to speak to Muhammad? Is that because Muhammad is a piece of shit? CP, CP, CP. The story of CP. You are quoting a book you don't believe in. You are quoting a book you are exactly. deriding on a daily I'm basis. I'm quoting a book oh, you believe in. I'm quoting a book you believe in. So Allah, no, you, no, Allah, but basically, Allah CP, even you spoke to me. Allah, you is, have no right Allah for this book for me. You are, you are just pulling your audience. You are Allah, pulling your audience. Allah, you are using, spoke, Allah you are using spoke. evidence of something right. you don't believe in. No, no, I use evidence against you. This is your book. No, no, it's not against me. It's against <laughs> you. You're just speaking your audience. No. I, like, how do you come here if you go and start, to, you, start if using you go, an evidence? If you go, if you go to the court. When you don't court, have yourself, you don't believe in that evidence. Abdul, if you go to the you don't court. don't believe in that evidence. You use, so why, how can you use it? If you go to the court, you use document created by your enemy, not by you. No, it's, no, 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 no. You do not believe, you do not believe in that evidence you yourself you are using to so justify your you claim. Saying, so so okay. how do you ask me to believe in All that right, evidence? Okay, I will promise you not to use it if you agree with me that this is garbage and we should not follow it. No, 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 no. You see, ah, thank you very much. So why, why are you using a garbage for me to believe in?
as an evidence. Well, the best shampoo for a Muslim is a garbage, as you see. This is your shampoo. No, 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 but that's the thing, though. So it's like um, you are behaving like you are behaving like you are in the kindergarten school using garbage. So, you yourself so don't believe. Do you have you an, believe in. So do you have an answer why Allah never spoke to Muhammad? Allah his book, his book, on his throne and he can send an angel and that's what he does. He's done it he's, he's done it with so many other prophets. So why why some from prophets he speaks through through you know through a bush, some he sends angel. Do you say the bush? We know in the bush he spoke he spoke to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa When he went up, we know he spoke to him. He spoke to Muhammad where, where it says he spoke to Muhammad, can you show me? Wait, so um this is uh it's uh what do you call it? I'm so close. So it's a it's a hadith. Uh -huh. Well, actually, if we first look in the Quran and the story of Buruj, in in the the night journey, you know it when he went up and when when he got the salat, when he talked to Musa, Isa, and I think it was Yunus as well. He spoke to this is in, this, uh, is, this is in the Quran. The Mi'raj, yes, the Mi'raj is Mi'raj. I know. Sure. Okay, you, give you know, me, you know what I'm on. Give, give me, give me the, the, give me yeah. the, give me the verses where it says Allah He spoke to Muhammad in the Mi'raj. Go ahead. It is proven. I'm reading off this hadith. It is proven. No, no, you know, you prophecy. said to me, you said to me in the Quran. Yeah, no, yes, he just yes. said it is proven. He said it is proven, no. and we Muslims we believe that. Okay, so now it's not in the Quran, correct? No, 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 I did not say it's not Quran. First, I'm reading off the hadith because I've forgotten the exact no, verse. Give me, give, me the Quran, verse. give me the Quran and give me the hadith so we can laugh. Go ahead. No, I, Christian Prince, Christian I, Prince, I, I we do not that. expect you to believe. No, 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 no I want to hear, I want to hear Muhammad that. talking to Allah. And be careful. Christian it, Prince, we believe that. Okay. 110 percent. Be careful, it is you, it's you Muslim who keeps saying to me, weak and daif, hadith is strong, daif. Show me authentic hadith. It says Muhammad spoke to Allah. So so every is every the, single Muslim knows, like the Prophet, when he went on the Mirage, he spoke to Allah. You are not us, expect, we don't expect me, you to me, believe it. Me, you are not a Muslim. Show, show me, show but me. But we Muslims, we believe in that 110%. Show, show me. And that's so, why you, so, you cannot be using hadiths as an evidence, because you don't <laughs> believe in the hadiths. Okay, but you must you cannot be using so something you, you don't are, believe in. So now you are, making up, so you are making up a story or, or not. The Quran, the Quran oh, and the hadith say Muhammad the, is in the Quran, Muhammad in the he called Muhammad called Moses Kalimullah. Why? Because he is the one who spoke directly to Allah. Correct? Okay. And in the same story, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he went to Musa. He asked him he went he went up to Allah three times. He, he went up and said me, Allah. Can you show me where you get this from? This all what I'm saying, show me, I want to learn. Christian Prince, you know the story. Christian Prince, no, no, you said this story. The story. I want to see the story. Read it. Christian Prince, Christian Prince, okay, you narrate this story oh, here all the time. No, listen. You narrate this story here all the time. Show me where it says Allah spoke to Muhammad. Otherwise, both of you are lying. Christian Prince, Christian Prince, you're always narrating this story here all the time. You're always Show narrating the story. Allah, he, of, speak, of, of, he spoke. Of, of, of. Know where it says Muhammad, he always received, according to Muslims, Always receive command through the angel Jibreel. He never received no, or there's, 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 there's two ways. There is two ways. There is two ways. There is two ways. And, and correct me if I am correct the time me. Of we are talking the same time. Two Muslims that are talking. Listen, according to Muhammad, Muhammad received command from Shaitan and from Allah. Am I lying? Oh. And how he received from oh, Allah? No, no. How he received from Allah? He never received any command. By the angel Jibreel. Yeah, no, by the angel Jibreel. Command. Of the Mi'raj, let me describe the Mi'raj so we can get past that. So, um, first I'll state the hadith because I can't remember the verse, I should remember as I'm reading the hadith. So, narrated by Al Bukhari 303674 three, and by Muslim uh, hadith 162, it says it is proven in the story in the story of the Prophet's ascent, the Mi'raj to heaven, concerning which he, uh, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, said, Then I was taken up and came to Musa, and he said, What has been given to you? And the Prophet وسلم, said, 50 prayers. And uh, Musa said, your ummah will be unable to do this every day. By Allah, I tested the people before you and I tried how the children of Israel go back to your Lord and ask him to reduce it. So he went back and he reduced it by 10. Mm -hmm. The same thing happened again. And um, he felt too shy. So he went down and he said, rather, I shall accept and surrender. So this is the hadith. Now the surah. I know the surah to Buruj. I'm going right off the top of my head. So hold on, hold we can on, open surah to What you just gave me 
is a joke and everybody will laugh at you and your prophet. Look, nowhere it says he spoke to Allah. And now you will see here that Allah, he command Muhammad, but doesn't say how he command him. Hold on. And then he one who refuted Allah and showed Allah that he is a stupid and Muhammad is a stupid is Musa's. Is it you who just wait, said, wait, wait. hold on. Is it, you who, is it you who said this is a Sahih Hadith? You said that. Wait, Chris, so, so Chris, Moses, he Chris, said wait, to Muhammad, wait, Moses what, said to Muhammad, hold on. Moses, he said to Muhammad, idiot, what's wrong with you? Go and tell your God, my people cannot do so. So did your God, Allah, give command to Muhammad, which nobody can do, which means he's an idiot God? Brother, of wait, course. first on, before, can we, can we respect each other? Because, like, we're having a conversation, bro. We're not having a degrading contest. There's but, no uh, need to say... I don't no. respect, I don't respect Muslims. No, 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 it's acceptable, man. CP, you are not expected to, to respect, respect Allah. Like, I don't you know, respect your people person. who yeah. rape our women, kill our children, take our churches, and steal our land. Do you? I don't. Yes, it is. So Christi, now listen, Christi, listen, Christi, listen, Christi, listen, Christi, listen, Christi, listen, Christi, listen. Christi, Christi, Christi. And I don't respect a child molester like Muhammad. So you want to uh, teach yourself first to respect. You call me pig. You call me kafir. You call me infidel. You call me the worst of the creatures. You call me najis. You call me all kind of filthy words. And now you are talking about respect. You are a hypocrite. So now, your prophet, when he yes. was giving command, when your prophet was giving giving fifty prayer command. Was your God being a stupid and Moses the Jew is correcting your God and your prophet? The mic is yours. PP, that's kindergarten, that's from kindergarten assumption, PP. Like um, um, the entire Bible is full of God actually don't change giving topic. out. Focus with me, focus commands. with me. He mentioned the 50, don't, don't talk, uh, uh, Cylinder. Let him, let him talk. 50 prayer that Allah gave. A wrong number and Moses the Jews because he's a smart Jew corrected Allah for he is being stupid. He said to Muhammad, your followers cannot bear 50. Listen, what he said to him, your followers cannot bear 50 prayer a day. So now, did your God Allah knew that the Muslim cannot do 50 prayer a day? Or only can Moses I, know, know that? Can I answer? Go can ahead. I answer? CP. Do not start this discussion because we're saying, did Allah talk to Prophet or not? You said no, yet I'm showing you proof and you're trying to divert the conversation. Nowhere, <laughs> nowhere there it says Allah spoke to Muhammad. I challenge you to show me where it says. It says Allah gave me, gave me. They didn't say he spoke to him. Don't make things up. And the only one, no, 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 the only one, the is, the hold the on, the only one in Islam called Kalimullah is Moses, which means the one who spoke to Allah. So don't make no. things up. Yes, we call only him Moses. Now, we call now Yeshua, Kalimullah. you are the one who mentioned such a stupid story. What kind, no, no, of God, what kind of God he gave command of 50 prayer if Muslims cannot do it? No, that's, not that's what God wants. That's what God wants. It's just Musa realized it could be difficult. So he, he sent, he told Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to go and appeal to Allah uh -huh. that it could be difficult for people to do it. Wonderful. And so Musa is doing okay, okay. like doing slumbering so, and ranting rubbish. So Allah Mus sent us in to so worship him solely. It's like 50, so, 50 prayers. Oh boy. It's nothing. All right. So Musa says, he was a smart man and he noticed that Musa this is impossible. And he told Musa Muhammad, he told gonna Muhammad, be hold on, hold on. He, he told in Muhammad. The line, <laughs> it says in the third line, go back to your <laughs> Lord. Does go back to your Lord not mean go back and communicate? Do you not understand <laughs> what English means? Go back means go back and talk. No, it says go, it says go and ask Allah, Muhammad, he asked Allah, asked Allah, he asked, Muhammad, he asked Allah by praying. Muhammad, he asked yes. Allah by praying. He go under the tree, the lotus tree, and he go and sit there because this is the tree of Allah. And he sat there and he prayed to Allah and Allah gave him the answer. He did not speak to him. Show me where Allah spoke to him. Go ahead. So, 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 so if God in the Bible does it more. Adam, Adam, Adam will actually eat from the tree. <laughs> So Good, the, you God, the, the, the God of so the Quran, <laughs> your God is in the tree. It's in the Quran. No, no, no. So biology, CP, you are saying. Okay, okay, okay. We, will go, we will go to the God in the tree. But after we finish this one. What kind of God he gave the wrong number, which nobody can do, and Moses is and correcting I, him? 
And, and what yeah, kind yeah, of God yeah. told Adam not to eat from the tree, knowing very well Adam would listen, eat from listen, the tree? So, listen, uh, uh, the, the other Muslim, what's your name? Who has heard from the topic, CP? We're it's, on about Muhammad it's you talking who mentioned about it, guys. Did he, isn't it him who mentioned the 50 prior? Yeah. Yes, All but... Right. So you, you, said, you did not show me where in the hadith. Here we go. Show me in the hadith where it says he spoke. Nowhere. Did okay. he speak to Allah? So go back to Allah. Go back to Allah. Go back to Allah. But nowhere it says I spoke to Allah. Nowhere he says Allah spoke to him. So so scroll up. Hold on, hold on. I will go. I will go with you. Did your prophet? Did, when it says here, go back to Allah. Where is Allah? Brother, do you not know how the mirage happened? The prophet he went on don't to uh, change, I don't topic. change the topic. My voice, I'm losing my voice. He went back to because Allah. Where is Allah? You said the prophet went to a tree. The prophet where, he went, where, he did not go where to no tree. is Allah. I cannot answer that because you need to understand the story of the bruj, which you obviously don't. He went onto the bruj and he went what to bruj? um Abdul, where? what is what is a bruj? We don't we don't even know properly, even the tafsir they don't know properly. It's something like what is a buruj? Sure exactly. What is a buruj? We don't, we don't, uh, we don't know um, the same uh, way we do listen, not know how it is. I'm asking you, I'm asking what's wrong with you? Why you are like a, a recording machine? What is a buruj? Oh, you. Can, I, can, I explain, can I explain that? Abdul, oh, Abdul why have... it is so impossible for a Muslim to answer a question? You mentioned the Shai word buruj. What is a okay, buruj? What is a buruj in Islam? CP. Why is why do you not understand is just the same experience what like is Enoch and the buruj? Why I need to repeat? You keep saying I do not know. I do not know, my friend. Tell what me what is buruj? What does it mean to ask? What is buruj? What does it mean to ask something? What CP. Is if you don't know, what is buruj? 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 <laughs> But what is asking? What does it mean to ask? It's to have a conversation. You it says that he did that. Okay, is your God Allah in the Buruj? Is your God Allah in the Buruj? Okay, let's go to Surat and Buruj and Don't read it together. Don't change the topic. Is your God Allah in the Buruj? Let's read Surat and Buruj together and understand it. It will is explain everything God first. Allah, is your God Allah is in the Buruj? Yes, say Tell me what Buruj oh, is. Yeah. Tell me what Buruj oh, is. Together. Why you don't want to tell me what Buruj is? Be, brother, because not even we know properly. When we look at the hadith, it lit not the hadith, the surah, it literally says, and buruj, they don't explain it. But we know it's something like akin to a horse or donkey. I forget the actual word used. But um, if let's go to the surah. Hold Open on, surah to buruj and we can... So are you saying to me that you don't know what buruj mean? Well, no, brother, let, that's what I'm saying. Open the surah right now. You have the I don't desktop. Care. You can open as you wish. Tell me what buruj mean. You CP, open and it can, it can mean a sa, it can mean a tower. What no, no, mean? no, I know. We know Buruj is an animal. We know Buruj is an animal, but we don't know its exact. Um, Buruj, is an how it's... Buruj is an animal? Yeah, that's it what the Surah tells you. It, it, can, it can mean a tower, but CP, <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot interpret it just you're based a, on the. You're an idiot. Hold on, hold on. This, you're, what a, does you're, it mean? A, you're an idiot. Here we go. This is your Quran. Buruj hey, is oh, hey, just uh, here we go. Here we go. Chapter fifteen, chapter fifteen, verse number sixteen. What is Buruja? So, no, uh, seven one will be capable. It says we have put the big stars in the heaven. What what? I'm, I'm I ask you what Buruj is. I ask you what Buruj is. You said animals. Ibn Kathir, Ibn Taymiyyah, as Saudi, all of them agree that it's akin to an animal. Okay. This is based off probably another hadith of the Prophet that probably described no, Buruj. No, no, you, right you are an idiot. You, hold on, let me show you. Let me show you okay. what you are. Hold on, See, hold me. on. You are talking about the chapter 15. Cha you are talking about the chapter 15, verse number 16. You Muslims are a bunch of idiots. If you change the translation, you will, if you change the translation, if you change the translation, what's wrong with them Those are, uh, okay, are, they, are those real animals? 
Are they real animals? Awesome. City, you don't know though. City, in the Bible, we've got a morning star singing praises to God. So oh, morning oh, stars oh, to you, oh, they oh, are stars, up, for you oh, never oh, know. They so are look, look at this. They this is what the Quran is talking about. This is how stupid your God is. Your God believes so believe in zodiacal oh, signs. Do you see the zodiacal signs? This is what Ibn Kathir says to you. He said, those are animals, you idiot. So, uh, CP, open Ibn Kathir and look at the tafsir. Yes. Because I'm not saying... This is, I, th this is how we stupid this you, Muhammad, and Ibn Kathir, he believe, according to you, that in the sky there's a bear? Brother, do you not know the story of the mirage? You if you don't know me, the story, stop... You said to me, those are animals. Guys, did he say they're an animal? No problem. They are animals in the sky. Okay, they are animals in the sky. <laughs> the, big bear, the big bear, the small bear. <laughs> CP, I can't lie, you're moving like somebody who's on something. The, 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 the brooch is currently in the sky. What the story lets you the brooch came, but that the brooch was open for him. All I right. said myself times we don't know the appearance of the brooch so okay, now okay. let's let's go back to the meeting okay I hold on hold on you, easy, you, easy 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 man. easy 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 you see i did not tell you that i have people they go and they steal information from allah from the baruj do you know that what do you know do you not understand the concept of uh, something uh, being under why we switch it to the topic the main thing was did no, no, allah we are talk talking to about the baruj we are talking about the baruj is that a true? No, no, no. That, is it a true? No, that, is it a true that no. there is there is shayateen? They go and they spy at the zodiacal signs and get information from there because this is where Allah live. But you, if you don't understand the story of the brood, you should not be speaking like this. Well, here what it says we're talking front, about here in the front of me it says read it. Okay. Read, 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 read what it says. Read it. Mm -hmm. What it says. Do you not understand the concept of multiple translations existing? Really? I, don't, I do not need translation, I speak Arabic. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because if you open another translation to simply Ar Rahman or Rahim, you can have the most merciful, you can have another one say the most graceful. Do you not understand the fact that the tafsir exists to have explained it properly for and you? You mentioned you to me Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir agree with that. That brother, I'm not saying simply Ibn Kathir, even Ibn Kathir, all of them say <laughs> that the <laughs> So what's the point? You said to me, no, open Ibn Kathir, we open Ibn Kathir, you agree with me. So do you agree with Ibn Kathir or you don't agree? We're not we're on the Quran English site. What's this that you're saying Ibn Kathir? <laughs> okay, listen, Even I ask you because we speak about Muhammad where he go. And you said to me, Muhammad, he went to the Buruj. No, I, brother, look, I said he went with the... Do you not know the story? This is a, it's a common thing among children in, in Muslim children. It's basic, it's near like... A, what do you mean, what mean in children? What, how old? Now, it's, it's the same way um, the, story of, the story of Christ is known no, to no, a lot no, of... I, I don't um, understand. What, what do you mean this is a story uh, known among children? What do you mean? What age? Like, no, like, there, there are lots of uh, cartoon videos about it. No, no, that, no. I that mean, you, you say this is a story it. among children. What children means in Islam? What? How old? So that's what I'm saying. Is a story among children. I, I I mean, so how Muslim, old are those Muslim children? children how, old, how, old, how old those children who knows who knows the story? How old those children? Because you are insulting me now. So I want to know how old I am. How old those children who know the story? Because you said the prophet went to the Bruges when I'm trying to explain to you. Why do you want to answer? What's wrong with those Muslims? How old those children who know the stories? Uh, yeah, around, around the age of like when you can understand cartoons around six, seven. That's the time when so, you can uh, play she, the videos. And... So she, uh, so uh, Muhammad, he married a child at the age of six. You said six, eleven. My nigga, why? You, my nigga, <laughs> my nigga, why? Is, why is you, we started with the Muhammad talk to Allah. I showed to you that you talked to Allah. You you try to flex. I show you that the brooch is a thing that he used to go. Yes, okay, hold on. Did, did Muhammad? Okay, hold on, hold on. When Muhammad, according to you, Muhammad, he spoke to Allah. Did Muhammad hear the voice of Allah? Did he hear? Did he hear the voice of Allah? You know, actually, this is the thing. Did he? Hear? Voice of Allah. I heard some people discussing about it, supposedly. But oh. if you want, if you want to be if, uh, about something about the voice of Allah being 
Oh. Some, some, they were discussing for some deep thing. I won't lie. I should send you the link. But if you want to be real, did he speak to Allah? Yes. Because in the story, he went up. He went up to, I think it's right under the Irish. I don't, brother, you, we have the story. We have the um, uh, story right in front of us. Let's read all of it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it should be somewhere else as well in the Quran. But oh. it's known. He went up. He okay, asked I want to ask, ask you. I want to ask you. The word... Uh, speak is it the same as the word inspiration the thing is he did not get no inspiration because we know he went up okay he went so so the word so the word so inspiration is not the same as the word speak do we agree so and where in the world did he get inspiration so i'm because asking you so is it is it possible that allah he inspired muhammad he did not talk to muhammad like he did wahi or ha uh, uh, the story says he goes. So inspiration, well, well, so it's, he did it's not. not really so possible. he did not. He did not deliver wahi to him. He talked to him, correct? Yes, that that's literally how the story goes. He goes up right. to uh, uh, supposedly around Allah, and then he comes. He starts coming down. He meets the other prophets. All he right. goes up again. Starts coming down. He goes up again. All right. Let us read and see how stupid you are. Not do wahi. He spoke to him because he went there. Here we go. Here yes. it says, hold on. Here it says, he awha. Fa awha ila abdihi ma awha. In the Surah Al Muntaha. So, Here we go. And Ibn Abbas, he said that when he was in Surah Al Muntaha, he revealed to him by inspiration. Turn the camera and do the monkey dance for me. My nigga, you're the monkey right now. Do you not understand how the Baruj works? It's you who because said, I, it's you, a second ago you said, no, he did not do what he is because he went there and he spoke to him. Now here it says, he inspired him. <laughs> here it says, he inspired him. He inspired him. This is your stupid prophet saying that. Apologize. No, Surah Baruj. The Surah Baruj is, is detailing the story to us. Apologize. You are, you are an idiot. Apologize. I just got you busted. Guys, this is saying here. So, and it was a distance, but two bow length or, or nearer. So Allah conveyed the inspiration to his slave. This is about what? This is about your Prophet Muhammad going to Sudrat al-Muntaha. And he did not even meet Allah, did not speak to Allah. Still, he, he delivered the whispering or inspiration to Jibreel, according to you. Read it. No, brother. Yes, and this is saying inspiration about the ayah, about the information in it. <laughs> what? What is this? Is this saying that he did not go to Allah and talk to him? It, it's supposedly three times because he went down to uh, Musa and Musa told him to go up like one or two extra times. All right, hold on. He, because in, Okay, hold on, hold, in on, the hold, hadith, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Read, read for me, read for me what I will show you on the screen. And apologize. Okay, now, read, and apologize. Oh, we need, we need, potato, potato. Sorry, don't, we stop screaming. Does it say here that this is a Sahih hadith about Muhammad going up to heaven, Al Isra wal Mi'raj? That the Prophet he says, فَأَوْحَى اللَّهُ إِلَيَّ مَا أَوْحَى فَفَرَضَ عَلَيَّ خَمْسِينَ صَلَاةً so Allah he inspired on me what he inspired and he gave me 50 prayer apologize for being a donkey what, what does it say next what does it say next it says Continue the same then. okay do you know read it you read it read it read it and then he says every day to pray and but, then he goes to musa read it read and it. then he goes yeah yeah musa but yeah, you see abdul we, we are debating if allah he spoke to muhammad or not no, you see, when, it's, when I speak about the 50 prayer, you say, well, you're changing topic. We speak now, it's about wahi. Allah, he did wahi inspiration. He did not speak to Muhammad. It's in front of you. Apologize. You're nitpicking the certain part that says wahi. As we continue in this, it's saying, um, Ila Musa, uh, as a Musa said. Just gets, get lost. Bunch of kids. Stupid people in front of you. And he said, he is the one who said, it's recorded. No, Prophet did not receive wahi. Or he went there. Because inspiration, you do not need to go anywhere. <laughs> so Muhammad again is lying. He's right, you do not need to go there. So why he says, Fawha? Uh, Awha mean inspired. 
It's in the front of you. And this is in Sahih Muslim. It says, فَأَوْحَ اللَّهُ إِلَيَّ مَا أَوْحَ So Allah, He inspired me, Sahih Muslim, 162. You're an idiot. All of you Muslims are certified idiots. They speak so fast in order to cover the humility and the stupidity. So Musa is now is correcting Allah. And what Musa is doing in heaven? Everybody is dead. Muhammad, he said, that he is the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment. So how Muhammad, he saw all the prophet there? The Quran says, all the prophet, they died and nobody left. وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُولِ All messenger of Allah, they died. So how Muhammad went to heaven and he found them all there? Stupidity is amazing. Let me see if this is the hadith we are looking for. Give me a second. Uh... <clears throat> No, this is not the hadith. They are long, you know, you have to read them all. Let us see another one. This is Sahih Muslim. <coughs> what is the number? 216. 316. Okay, let us see. Yeah, still it's not showing it. Let me give me a second. Stupidity is amazing, man. Shameful people. No dignity. Well, welcome to Islam. Yeah, I want to get the hadith so I can share it with you. This is at Tirmidhi. It's a saying. Uh... Here we go. We found it. Fa'awha. See it? So Allah, He inspired 50 prayer. Use the translation. The word here is can be revealed. No, it is inspire. Awha. So God revealed to me what he revealed, and he made 50 prayers obligatory upon me. <laughs> what a drama. What a nice movie. So Allah, he never spoke to Muhammad. The word awha in Arabic mean inspire. Muhammad obviously is a fraud. <clears throat> uh... See here the translation. He revealed to me a revelation. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is hurting. <coughs> so you see how they lie. Anyone knows that the word awha mean inspire. We can copy the word as it is, 
and we can take it to the Quran and you will see that this you can take it to dictionary you can take it to wherever you want Oh Allah In fact, we can copy it and we take it to the Quran. <clears throat> now, this search engine is a, is a really bad engine. It shows any word is a little bit connected. But you see here, Awha. Awha mean inspiration. Yuhi inspired. Oha inspired. Etc. So a Muhammadan, when he tried to prove himself right, he always proved himself wrong. You cannot play with me. I am a Christian prince. Always Muhammadan, remember that. Screaming loud, speaking loud, speaking so fast. You can say whatever you want. And don't ask me to respect you. Over my dead body. I don't respect liars. You don't even dare to tell me what is the child. I have to repeat the question a thousand times. One of the clear signs that Muslims are a bunch of liars is you have to repeat that question one thousand times in order to get the question, if you get lucky to get the question. <clears throat> Yeah. Do we have any Muslim have decency? Beside those who scream. You don't know what Boruj is. You do not know what Boruj. Your God, he believe in such a stupid thing. Shaitan, he go to the to the heaven to spy at the zodiacal signs. What the heck? And he get his information from there. Is that, uh, you know, what is this? You stupid Muhammad and believe that those fortune teller they go where Allah He is there, the zodiacal signs, and this is where they get their information from. You're a pagan person. You believe in fairy tales and fiction stories. Chapter 15, verse number 16. And then we guarded those zodiacal signs from every uh, cursed devil. But any that gains hearing by steeth is pursued by a flaming fire. So Muhammad now he want to try to explain why those fortune tellers, they can tell you something will happen to you. He claimed that the shayateen, they go up to the sky and they get closer from the zodiacal signs where Allah he live and they steal information and then Allah he showed them with the stars as soon as he noticed and notice here the failure Allah he guarded the sky yet the shaitan is still they can spy so do you guard it or not <laughs> so he guarded the sky so nobody can spy but the shaitan they spy go and buy the the doom uh, you know rockets from the israeli failure how he say we have guarded it hafadnaha actually not only guarded it we protected it totally from every evil devil shaitan except the one who steal information except except so what the guardian for so you guarded the sky and still they can steal information <clears throat> what really no way okay let him join us get them rent 
First of all, it's very simple. As an example, we in Pakistan, we buy at India. In Pakistan, you spy at India. But this is God, man. I mean, if Allah, he guarded the star, guarded the sky, how in the world, Shaitan, he can go through and he spy? Get the prince. It's very easy. First of all, Shaitan is very small. Therefore, he can find it, it, it hole and he can go through it. What hole? You Are you talking about the hole of Allah, his anus or something? Get the prince. Respect yourself. First of all, I got to do it. It's not Allah. What hole? I mean, Allah, he says, he guarded the sky from every shaitan, every shaitan. And then he says, except the shaitan who steal information. What is this? So now shaitan, he steal information, he use it. He's giving it to the Hindus. Get them rent. First of all, you are a big bad liar. The Quran did not say that the Quran steal information. The Quran said that Allah will throw him with fire. No, it says, it says here, he steal information. Read it. <clears throat> he gains. You see the word gains? <laughs> Get the breath. First of all, I did example. My wife, she keeps saying to me, oh, it's more so you can gain weight. I never gain weight. So if I said gain, that mean gain. Look at me. I'm very like, almost like bones. Abdul says he gain hearings. Already he gains. You cannot gain weight because already you are, you are a skull. You are a bones. You, you, are, you are from the bones time, you know? <laughs> Anyway, I better go before I lose my voice totally. I want to say thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and unsubscribe. And for sure, nobody care to leave comment, most of you. We do our part, and the Lord is my witness. I do what I can. Those who listen, listen. And those who don't, they are doomed. Thank you all for being here. And remember always, God is good. So is Jesus. I mean to that.